Okay, everything that you've done to date is great, and I've noticed that you've altered a few features within the dashboard, such as the gallery. It seems to be updated in a way I haven't seen it before. So you've done pretty well with everything that you've done so far. So you're moving around the dashboard brilliantly. I'll show you the how I add in the categories. We go to products, categories, and I've noticed that you've worked this out already. I'll delete this screen innovations for now and show you how I add it in. So just place in screen innovations here. Make sure I choose the parent being projector screens. You'd normally set up upload a logo that's uh, set to the right size so it fits within that thumbnail box. In this instance you've already set it up so I'll go into the media library, show and insert into post and add new product category. So there you have the parent category and I'd class this as the child category under projector screens, hence the dash screen innovations and the slug is automatically created there. Now we'll move on to altering the drop down menu on the home page. So we go to appearance, menus. I've already set up projector screens as you can see here. So what I'll do is I'll delete this, I'll remove it and show you how to add in a new one. So we're going to product categories. This is most used but we'll go to view all. Projector screens is there. Add to menu. And I'll literally click on that, drag and drop. Projector screens, click on that, drag and drop. Projector screens and place it under projectors so it's in alphabetical order. Then I'll save the menu. And let's take a look at how it appears on the home page. So we go to products and there's projector screens. And when we click onto that, we'll find that there's a product there that I've already included. I'm going to remove this so you can see what the page would normally look like without the product in place. So we'll go back to the home page. Products, projector screens, and that's how the page would normally show up. In which case then you go to new, product, and for the sake of demonstration I will call this sample product and sample product again for now. Now this is where you activate the feature. Projector screens and screen innovations. So you click on those, set featured image and this is quite nifty. I haven't seen this gallery before so it works nicely. I'll choose this one for an example. Set featured image and we've got it there in place. Now we Save this page, publish. We go back to the home page and products, projector screens, and you find that by adding the product in, you've automatically added in the logo category, screen innovations, and the sample product that's there. So I'll leave that there for you so you can update it and put in the correct product price and details. And I hope you found this little video very helpful so you know how to alter the main navigational bar as well as the drop-down menus. 
Thanks for watching and I shall speak with you soon.